If you are thinking to buy a house or condominium or villa in HOA, this video is for you. Because in this video, we're going to dive in and talk about home association. We're going to talk about all the steps that are necessary to take when you're buying something, some kind of real estate that is located in HOA communities. Are you guys ready and stoked as I am to dive in, in this video? Because listen, you don't want to miss this ride because this ride is going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. Are you guys ready? Let's dive in. Listen, my name is Alec Petro. I'm here, your local real estate agent in Southwest Florida. And like I said before, we're gonna dive in in the home association rules, regulations. Uh, well, we're not gonna dive in every single one of them, but in this video, my goal is to educate every single one of you and help you understand when you're buying HOA real estate, there's gonna be some hoops you gotta jump over. And not only you, the lender, if you're doing financing, the insurance, uh, title company and the agent if you're using as well because very important it is more complicated than just a regular buying a home or, or you know buying manufacturer home or buying a piece of land or whatever because in the HOA they have rules and regulation this is like a big thick book I'm joking no it's not every HOA will have rules and regulations but for the sake of the video we're not going to dive into the big thick thick book about the uh, HOA so are you guys ready so first thing first right uh, you want to find a property that you like uh, that'll be a home a villa or condominium that we'll have, we'll have you know and you have various different properties you have pool you have golf you have uh, uh, you know fitness center uh, kayaking uh, you know, different amenities that you have that's available to you, a gated community, not gated community. You know, you have playground, not have playground, dog park, not dog park, pickleball, tennis court, uh, or in a fitness center uh, or community center. So you have uh, barbecue park, uh, different, different HOAs here, different rules and regulations. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're going to just dive in and kind of go, go into like number one, you got to find a place that is going to fit your needs, right? Uh, if you like, gated you know finding something with the gate it's like we want to have to something with the pool you're gonna find something with the pool right if you want to be in the villa where it's more first floor where you have a second floor that you have nobody walking above you or nobody below you because you don't want to walk up the stairs so you have different options that you can choose from right some people like golf some people don't like golf so after you find the location that you want to live in and you like the location you like the homes you like the styles not homes the condos villas and well for the sake of this video i'm going to take homes right and when you get that next thing you want to do is basically the second thing it's you want to do is find the rules and regulations and the fees yes that's right you won't find out the rules about the visit is it 55 and over it's not or uh, with regards to pets not all the all the HOAs will allow the pets and if you have a pet person like myself I love dogs it's very important right to to have the ability to bring your dog if especially if you come into the winter time or you're moving here fully you want to be able to bring your dog with you or a cat whatever the pet you like uh, and so this you gonna find out about that uh, also about the visits and uh, some 55 and over communities and in some communities you cannot you know have kids stay for too long especially like manufacturing facilities manufacture and HOA communities they're pretty strict with that uh, on, on that part and then also the fees there is master fee there is condominium fee there is could be a food fee there could be a park fee if you're in a golf course there's an annual fee there's uh you can pay per play uh per entry and if you play you know pay per entry this could be like 8 15 per year it's the pet so you want to find all those details out about that community and you can ask your, your agent uh, for them to call and find out all the information but my best advice is if you like the community and just go check it out go to go to HOA headquarters you know whatever there sometimes will be on the premises or sometimes you have to go somewhere else and find where they are at and go check it out the rules and regulations and all the fees and ask them all the hidden fees 
because you do maybe you have to pay for the gate maybe you have to pay for for this and that like for a cable not paying for a cable uh which is now you talk talking about you know if it's hoa fees and if they are high then you got to find out the insurance which one of the topics we're going to talk about as well in this in this thing in this video about insurance but number three number three guys it is kind of navigating through the whole process of buying a, a, a real estate that it's located in HOA it is very complicated guys and I want you guys to I don't I want to stress more than enough because a lot of people think well it's a super easy no it's not because when you you know obviously as you do you know submit an offer on the property that you like the first number one is obviously we do escrow deposit right EMD within three five days whatever how many you put on the contract you put a deposit after that, obviously, it's a home inspection. It's a must, guys. If it's a brand new, not brand new, majority here in Southwest Florida is older, so you wanna do home inspection. And you wanna do a 4.0, but it's most likely because uh, they will not provide insurance. Probably they'll provide insurance on the outside, which is the next point. Uh, but the inside, you wanna do 4.0. point They make sure that all the electrical is properly plugged in and all the wires is proper and blah, 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 so you can get a discount. Also, make sure the water heater is running, the AC and other stuff, the components, important components of the unit inside you want to do. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a condominium. I'm going to waive my home inspection. No, I just had a deal where home inspector came and he found the mold because, you know, we get the hurricane season, the power goes out. And if the house sits for a, little, for a little bit with no air circulation, the mold develops. And when the AC turns back on, it could be too late. And if person, person especially don't live here and they come in during winter time and they skip the year, they can back. There's mold all over the place so you definitely want to do home inspection and that kind of rolls into us into the insurance some hoa will provide that insurance but there's a catch there's a catch they will provide only for the outside the building but inside the building you have to have your own insurance your home own homeowner insurance for the inside and also some areas if they are located in a flood zone a lot of hoas didn't carry flood insurance so it is you are obligated to buy the flood insurance as well so you definitely want to have that home inspection 4.0 and some HOAs, they'll just do your, your grass, it's a little light maintenance, and you have to provide home insurance fully, the whole thing. Then you gotta do wind mitigation as well. 4.0, wind mitigation, home inspection, right? So those things are important. And insurance guys, watch out, and you gotta fully understand what they really insure. And the reason why I'm saying that, because when if you're doing finance, if you're gonna go into financing, right, they will be asking HOA to provide the insurance certificate. They're gonna ask, what do you guys cover? What is not covered? Because if they're giving, giving out a loan, Freddie Mae, they wanna make sure that they, the loan is insured. If something happens, like Hurricane Ian, your insurance will cover it, right? So those are things that are super important. I'm telling you, when you get all those ducks in a row, when you get your, you know, find the place, submit it, submit the offer, you do your escrow deposit, you do your home inspection, you do your, your application for HOA. Yes, they will do background on you. They will be, you have to pay, sometimes you pay 100 bucks per couple, 150 per couple, if it's for by yourself, it's usually 100 bucks per person. Typically what we see, you do submit application. Don't wait till one week till you're closing, especially if you're buying, even if you're buying for cash you still need to do application. As soon as you get the offer in, while you're waiting for the home inspection to come through, I know uh, some people will wait for the inspection to come, to come in so they can they know exactly if they're gonna buy it or not. And then you submit your application, get the background check because, and if you have a pet, they most likely will need a vet certificate saying they are, they're vaccinated and they're all up to speed with all the shots and blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, they'll do background on you and they'll do background on your pet. I'm joking uh anyway can you tell i really don't like hoa because uh yeah no uh yeah because well some people like hoa i personally don't like hoa because i, I want a little bit more freedom on garage and then uh, park my boat and park where i want to park uh, instead of being told where i'm at anyway that's a, that's another thing when you submit all the application in and then you get to make sure you get the insurance application in and then it's going to be a lender a title and sometimes agents need to step in where in the last month and a half, I've been kind of handling 
helping with HOA, with the lender and title to communicate and make sure everybody do their job properly and make sure we get to closing on time and there's gonna be no hiccups because it's going back and forth because the lender needs documents, the title company needs documents in order to send to the lender, but the, the title company cannot get documents because they're waiting for the HOA to submit all the fees and all the detailed payments and payments and blah, 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 bunch of nonsense. But anyway, guys, I hopefully you guys have really understood the part of the importance of navigating when you're buying something in HOA, the home association. Yes, there is perks to it. Yes, there is benefit to it where you, you don't have to worry about cutting your grass. You know, if, if you are in the gated community, you don't have to worry about some random people to come down to your neighborhood. Um, and majority time HOA is pretty secure, pretty, pretty friendly. Um, well, the areas I've been through it, but hopefully this video was, was more education to you. Uh, hopefully you got some information out of this video. Listen, comment below, let me, where you, where are you watching this video from? And let me know if this video was helpful to you. Uh, and super happy to see you on my channel. So thank you for being and um, watching this video till the end. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Go check out my other videos where I talk about home versus condominium, where I'm talking about manufacturing home versus home uh, and stuff like that. Go check out other videos where I talk about places to go visit, places to stop by. I think we even got one video that's like 20 facts about Southwest Florida, which is pretty cool. Anyway, my name is Alec Petrov, and thank you so much for watching this video. God bless. See you next one.